Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really easy, everyday, fresh face makeup look. This is truly an everyday makeup look. This is as little as it gets for me. If I am not doing this, then I'm not doing anything. I typically only wear makeup about three to four days a week maybe sometimes like one or two days a week, but three to four days a week. And this is a look that I wear when like I have to get up early. I know I'm going to be running errands all day long. I don't want to be looking like a caveman, but at the same time, I want to give a little something. So this is like my happy medium where I'm not all dolled up and glamorous, but yet I'm not looking like I dead. So this is super easy, basic, going to work for everybody. Of course, I have a couple versions of like my everyday makeup look. This is the most easy, basic, shortest, one that I have. I do have like an upgraded version of this that's a few more additional products. It's a little bit more glamorous. I of course would be happy to do that for you if you wanna see that look as well, but I thought we would start with the basics. So I hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Good morning, everybody. Well, hello, honey boo boo. Nice to see you shirtless. <laughs> Okay, moving on. First thing we're gonna do is put on our foundation. I'm using Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. I am going to be using my very own brush line today. <laughs> my fingertips. I'm gonna just warm this up and emulsify it on the tips of my fingers. Make sure your hands are freshly clean. And then I'm going to just rub this all around my face. I know you're probably thinking, oh, what? Hell just froze over, where's your Sigma F80? But when you're in a rush, and if your brushes are dirty, <clears throat> my situation. Sometimes you just got to use your fingertips. God made them for a reason. So just make sure you buff in the foundation. It's not going to look as pretty as a brush, but hey, we can manage. Then I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a drugstore concealer, obviously, since it's by Maybelline. It is a nice sheer concealer, but you can get a medium coverage out of it because it is buildable. Using my middle finger, I'm going to just blend this in. And then I'm also going to make sure that I get it on my eyelid. I always, always do this because you have a lot of veins in your eyelid. And if you're tired, you're definitely going to get redness there and it's going to show all your dirty secrets. So cover up your eyelid area. It will smooth everything out, make you look a lot more fresh. I tap this in a V. As always, I take it back towards my temple. Make sure when you're finishing it off, you go in an inward motion from outer corner to inner corner. It'll help prevent creasing. Then using Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. This powder is formulated to make you look well rested. It has a brightening effect in it, but it is not a highlighter, so don't get it confused. This is just going to set your concealer and give a nice well rested effect. It's really nice for an everyday look because it looks nice and natural and there's no shimmer or highlight happening it <laughs> whatsoever. I always set my eye area just so that that doesn't move around whatsoever. Then I'm going to go in with Benefit Give Me Brow. Give Me Brow. Sorry. Give Me Brow. The tiniest little itty bitty brush of life. And I'm just going to go in and just brush through my natural brow hair. I love Give Me Brow because it has fibers in it that adheres to your natural brow hair. So not only does it fill it in, it makes it look fuller instantly. It is such a genius product. And because the brush is so tiny, it grabs onto every single little baby hair. And it is so, so fast. So done with brows. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Creme Brulee Eyeshadow. You can use any eyeshadow you want or a bronzer, whatever you prefer. This is just my go-to eyeshadow that looks nice with my skin tone, and I can just put it in my crease any day of the week, and I'm never going to be disappointed by it. We all have those go-to colors, and this one is mine. So I'm using an E40 brush by Sigma. This is definitely my go-to eye brush when it comes to blending and buffing things out. So I'm just going from inner corner to outer corner, and it's just going to contour our eyes so we don't look like we're sleeping. Then I'm going to curl my lashes. Any lash curler will be just fine as long as you like it. And I give it a couple of pulses, squeeze, 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 and then I'm good to go. I'm going to go in with L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in the shade Black. And make sure that when you're applying your mascara, you really wiggle, especially at the root of your lashes. It's a little trick that we all use. Just like you tease your hair for fullness, you want to tease your lashes for fullness as well. So really go back and forth and wiggle at the root of those lashes and then drag it down straightward if that makes sense. Then we are going to go in with MAC Care Blend Press Powder in the shade Dark. This is my go-to bronzing powder right now, and I'm using a big, fat, fluffy brush, and I'm going to just bronze the outer portion of my cheeks. As you can see, I shake off a lot of the excess. This will help over bronzing any streaking or muddiness that could happen on the face. So I'm just going to bronze the cheek area and then around the forehead just to even it out. Don't neglect your forehead when bronzing because it can look a little weird. Then I'm going in with MAC Spring Sheen. 
I always choose a blush that has a really nice shimmer in it because on days like today, I'm not going to be doing the whole highlighting and contouring thing. So using a blush like this that already has some shimmer in it will help to highlight in a more subtle way and not just like bam, streaks of highlight on the cheeks. Then I go over with that well rested again, whatever is left on that brush. And this is just a trick to buff things out so that you don't have any harshness and it looks airbrushed on the cheeks. Then we're gonna go in with MAC Shroom. We're gonna just dab this underneath that brow. This is one of my favorite, most universal, beautiful highlight shades. I've loved it for years and I truly pretty much use it on everyone. And I'm going to dab it in the inner corner as well. Putting a light shimmer in the inner corner and brow will really help in making you look more awake. For someone who's more mature, I highly recommend Mylar by MAC Cosmetics. It doesn't have as much shimmer, but it's beautiful. Then I'm going to go in with Sigma Lip Gloss in the shade Tint. This is my favorite lip gloss right now for days like today because it's pretty much the exact same color of my lips, but just nice and glossy. It's got that perfect little rose effect to it. I'm just going to put that on and then we are all done. Could we get any easier? I think not. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Excuse me? I would wear the... No! We are not going down this road today.